what is going on everyone welcome back to another swift tutorial today we're going to learn how to add floating panels to your apps so what we're going to build is basically what you see here so if you ever opened up the maps app that's built into ios or stocks you have a main controller where you got some main content here but you also have some secondary content in this panel at the bottom and you're able to basically swipe it up like so position it in the middle of the screen you can also swipe it down to reveal what's behind it and what's cool about this panel design is uh, you can use it to show supplementary content so in the maps app for example uh, when you want to navigate to a new location there is a search bar here and it can show you photos of the location you've got a pin dropped on in the stocks app if you open that up you'll have your ticker symbols up here and down here you'll have news related to whatever ticker symbol uh, you're looking at for the given company so it's a really nice user interface uh, it's pretty easy to set up it allows you to put a lot of content on screen without getting in the way of the user and we're gonna look at how to create it so that said make sure you absolutely smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm if you're new welcome to the channel Get Xcode ready, get excited, hit that like button one more time, and let's get into it. Quick pause before we get into the video. If you haven't seen it already, I am hard at work putting together iosacademy.io, a community where all of us iOS engineers can come together, learn how to build some of the top apps like Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, in addition to interview prep to land some of these iOS roles at top tech companies. So if you're interested in the free and premium content to come, head on over to iosacademy.io and enter your email address in the waitlist form and you will be notified as content becomes available. That said, let's get into the video. Let's begin by creating a new project. We will stick with our single view application template and let's call this project my maps save it to our desktop and jump right in so the very first thing we want to do is bringing bring in the framework that lets us uh, use floating panels so we're going to do that via CocoaPods. so open up terminal cd into the project run pod in it and then we can run open pod file the cocoa pod that we need to bring in is called floating panel so let's put that there lowercase the p otherwise you'll get a syntax error when you run install close text edit run pod install and i'll see a bunch of warnings here because my environment is screwed up but what you care about is this line right here that it installed uh, floating panel we can close this Xcode window with a command W and we want to open up the workspace so let's do open project name.xc workspace let me expand our Xcode window and we'll jump into implementing the actual code piece of this so let's actually pick a simulator up here which I've got one already hit command R to build and run and we'll see an empty application pop up so basically we first want to add a map view to this uh, view controller and then we want a, another view controller that we want to implement and that other view controller will be what goes in the floating panel and we'll see how to hook it up so we can have the floating panel be above the map so to do the map we're simply going to drag a map view in on our storyboard we're not going to implement the nitty gritty of it just because it's not really the main point of this video. So come in here and find a map view, uh, drop it on in, keep it selected, and let's add some constraints to this guy. So we're simply going to say zero all around, hit command R to build and run, and you should see a map here. So obviously it's not zoomed into any coordinates because we didn't set that up and we're not going to in this video. So now we want to create another view controller, which will be the content of the floating panel. 
So let's click this, new file. We want to create a Cocoa Touch class. It'll be a subclass of UI View Controller. And let's simply call this Content View Controller. I think that's a pretty descriptive name. And notice we didn't create any, uh, any XIB file for it. What we'll do is we'll set some of the stuff up for this in the storyboard. But let's start by deleting uh, the commented code out. And I guess what we'll do for the purposes of this video is uh, simply show a table view in this content controller. So let's create an outlet and it'll be a, let's call it my table view. It'll be a table view. Let's configure its delegate and its data source. Let's make sure we conform to the delegate and the data source. And uh, if you're not familiar with table views, I've got tons of videos on these. So take a look at those. Uh, I just want to go through this pretty fast so we can talk about the floating panel. Uh, for number of rows, we'll return data dot count. Let's define a data here. This will just be an array of strings. So let's do uh, let's do locations since this will be a map app. So New York City. Florida, London, uh, LA, because I'm lazy and I don't want to type it out, Dallas, and Japan for all our friends on that part of the world. And what else? Let's do Rome. Cool. So we've got a couple of entries there. And let's do cell. For row at index path, let's DQ a cell from the table. For index path, cell dot text label dot text. We're going to assign the string from the data array, and finally we'll return cell. So we need to also register this cell identifier. So here we will say my table view register uh, cell class UI table view cell dot cell for the ID. And finally, let's go to our storyboard and set up this outlet in this controller. Um, so we can simply go to the storyboard. And we close that bottom panel. Let's drag on in a UI view controller, like so. And let's select it up here. Let's come up to this tab, and we want to give it a class of content view controller. Let's give a storyboard ID of FPC underscore content, so floating panel controller content. Um, and let's bring in a UI table view, drag it on in, right click this guy to connect our outlet. So you should see we have our my table view connected to the table. And finally, let's add some constraints by selecting the table coming down here. And we'll set zero all around. So this will be the content controller that shows up in the floating panel. That said, let's look at the floating panel. So to set up the floating panel, super, super easy. We are going to first paste in that storyboard ID so I can copy and paste it in a few seconds. Uh, but no, actually, we're first going to import the, uh, the framework for floating panel. And floating panels leverage child view controllers under the hood. So we're going to first create a floating panel controller. Uh, so floating panel controller, and we don't want the delegate, we want the controller. And the floating panel controller can have a delegate, so we'll set that to self, and let's just make sure we conform to it up here. So that is the floating panel controller delegate, and this error will go away because we now conform to it. 
This is optional. Uh, we'll click into this in a second and see what functionality it gives us. And the most important piece is let's get our newly created content controller out of the storyboard. So we're going to say uh, guard let content VC is storyboard. And we want to instantiate a view controller with an identifier. And that's why I copied the identifier. And we want to make sure this is a, whoops, cut paste that there. And this is going to be as content view controller. Let's put an else case here for this guard statement. And now we can basically put this content controller into our floating panel controller. So we're going to say FPC set content controller, pass it on in. And most importantly, we want to add this floating panel to this controller, which is the one that has the map on it. So we'll say F pc add panel uh, to parent and we'll pass in self so now let's hit command r to build and run and hopefully we'll see our panel so cool we've got our panel here and you'll notice if we try to drag this up it doesn't actually work you'll notice that the table view inside does drag though so this is a common challenge that people face and i wanted to purposely show it here so we can fix it together the reason that you cannot drag this up from this little handle is because we've set the table view to be zero from the top of the content controller. And there is a collision of when you're trying to drag, it's actually um, tapping on the table view. So what I like to do is uh, come on in to the storyboard and let's select the table. Select this tab up here in the inspector to get to the constraints that we've set. And we're going to edit the top alignment constraint. And we're simply going to say that this is 50 from the top. And by setting it to be 50, uh, we're essentially allowing the panel to have some buffer so the user can tap and drag this up now. So now you can see if I select this handle, we can actually grab it and drag it up like a proper floating panel. And we can also uh, drag it down so it's not stuck halfway between uh, our screen. So that's basically how you add a floating panel. So as you can see, we've got our map here. So think of Apple Maps basically. And let's say we wanted to enter in directions or see nearby places, we can put that in this floating panel. So yeah, that said, if you haven't done so already, make sure you absolutely smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. If you've got any questions or hit any issues, don't hesitate to leave a comment. I try to reply to every single one. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.